this day forward, you are my servant. Give me a sign of your fealty. Welcome back, Kaim. I think I'm gonna be sick. If Gungora wiped out our memories, he must be up to something. So he took our memories, instead of taking our lives. By taking away what was most precious to us, he destroyed our hearts and reduced us to empty shells. If he's willing to go that far, what he's after must be this world. The world itself? Yes. Ridiculous. Me, you, Gungora. I remember two others. One of them is Sarah. The other one is Ming, the thousand-year-old queen who founded Numara. Does she remember? I don't know. When we were released, we only got a glimpse of her face. I'm going to look for Sarah. Any ideas where to start? In my memories. That is true. The way you feel about people is different from memories. Feelings of love become a huge sense of loss when your memories are sealed. Those you've loved remain in your heart. You'll be able to meet her again. I'm sure. I've stumbled upon my daughter's death twice now. The first time she died, my heart was filled with despair. The second time she died, though, it wasn't despair that filled my heart. It was hope. If he won't die, I'll bury Gungora in so much pain he'll wish he was dead. We have all the time in the world. That's the hope that I live for. Liram helped me to live again. Ah, they all lived happily ever after. Kai, if the send-off tomorrow is too hard for you to bear... No, I'll see Liram off. It's my duty as her father. Good morning. You must be Miss Liram's father. Miss Seth contacted me. I'm here to assist in sending Miss Liram off. Where's Mom going? She will return to Mother Ocean, who brought us to this land long ago. Even though her body goes to the sea, you will still have your spiritual bond with her. Spiritual bonds? Yes, your souls as mother and son will always be connected. Even though the body may have gone, these bonds are eternal. I'll need the family's assistance to give Miss Liram a proper farewell. What should we do? It's nothing difficult. We'll need flowers to adorn Miss Liram and torches to light the send-off flame. I understand. I'll get lots of flowers, so Mom will look extra pretty. Then, if you would take care of the torches, please. You all right? Yeah. I want to do something, too. Certainly. I'll have you help me later. Well, then. The first thing is to gather the flowers, please.
Mr. Keim, please gather the branches for the torch. Everything is prepared for Miss Lynn send-off. Let us begin. Everyone is waiting to give Miss Liram a final farewell.
I don't see Mac around. He said he had some place to go, and, and then he ran off. Aren't you worried? Mac has a lot of guts. He'll be fine. Um... I'm your grandfather. You can call me Grandpa. Even though you're younger than Mom? Yeah. I'll stick with Kaim. Saying Grandpa just doesn't feel right. Wow. Look at that, Seth. Kaim's actually being nice. Huh. Well, he is a grandfather with his grandchild. Wow. I guess getting grandchildren can really change a guy. I don't think it's quite like that. I think I've got a pretty good guess where Mac went. Where? To get those flowers. I see. See, for us, we figured that as long as those flowers were blooming, Mom would stay healthy. So you protected them? Yeah. Mac and I, we both knew that Mom wasn't well. We wanted to stay together, even if it was just for a little longer. So we would pray to those flowers every day. Cook! Hmm? <laughs> the flowers! I thought I could show them to Mom. But they've already wilted. Those flowers. Wasn't it important to let them keep blooming naturally? Didn't your mother also say that? Well, wilting is something natural, too. I thought they would cheer her up. I never let anyone step on them. Oh, you dummy. Did you think this would make Mom happy? But these are Mom's favorite flowers. And they were also there when I parted ways with Miriam's mother. Your grandmother. Huh? The fact that your mother treasured these flowers was probably tied to memories of those times. I'm sure your mother would understand your feelings. And I can understand them too. You're a good person, Mac. You're nice too, Kai. I am. Yep. I thought that about you just now. Is that so? Go show them to Lyra, Mac. Things too well either. <laughs>